What's the word, OG Games? Your boy, your Wayward Six, with another episode. You know what's the vibe, bro? The video for today is a real simple video. Um, this is about working on your weak side, how to make your weak side to the strong side. You know what I'm saying? So and so on. Um, I told you once again, this is for my new beginners, um, waivers, and this is for my elite waivers. If you suffocating with the weak side, you know what I'm saying? And your, your patterns effed up like mine's. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to show you um, a few tricks how to get it better. And for my beginners, stay tuned. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to show you how to work on your weak side and fix your crooked pattern and make your weak side strong side again. So it's a few details that I'm going to break down, a few tips. You know, I always give you a couple of tr I always give you tricks. So this that's just my nature. So first of all, you got to choose your, your, your brush. I'm working with my curve. So okay for demonstration whatever brush you're using flat whatever i got a flat here this is a medium soft and i got the crown but since we're working just on angles i'm using a, a softy to demonstrate as you can see i was uh, um, on vacation for like three months and for real for real i lost all my angles, my, my my waves became garbage and I'm far to, from being Lee as you can see right here it's all messed up, it's not connected, it's all scrambled uh, right on top right here it's, it's all messed up right here I still got to connect it right here by my crown still messed up the reason why I wasn't brushing I had a mini fro and now that I came back, you know what I'm saying? I had 16 weeks. I cut it off. I cut it to, uh, I was going to cut it 2.5, but I left it in two. The reason why, I want to cut a little bit more hair so I can start, you could say, almost from the ground up. So, my weak side right now, you could say, is this side. This way, this way, this side for me is more strong side, to be honest. It's more connected than this side. So, I'm using a softy. So what I'm doing is, um, and I told my barber not to do a high taper, but he still did it. So next time I'm gonna get a low taper so I could be able to get my waist uh, fully coming down. So this is horizontal, I'm using it. So make sure when you're brushing, make sure you don't overlap your angles. And this is for my beginners. When I say overlap your angles, Make sure you got a star in the end and you're doing your angles. Each angle is different. Okay? So, as you can see right here, as you can see this wave right here, that's where I start brushing forward. Okay? I don't come from here all the way forward. That's overlapping. Each angle is different. Each angle you got to brush it separate. And at the end of the day, everything's going to come together and it's going to connect together. So, so what I do, I start from here forward, you see? That's to avoid forks. Overlapping is creating forks. That's why they call overlapping. Because you're putting another waist on top of the other one. So when they crash, that's when you get a fork. So right now, this is my weak side. You can see my waist, they, they not really connecting like they, the way supposed to. Right now they all over the place. They just swerving, they creating their own line. So what I gotta do now is to stay consistent brushing and um, eventually it's gonna bounce back. They're gonna come, they're gonna be. How you fix them by brushing? So you gotta do a section with a hard, medium and a soft. The video I'm doing it with a softy so I can demonstrate to you guys how you gotta do it. So you can spend 10 minutes each, you know what I'm saying? If that's your weak side, you spend more than 10 minutes, because that's why you that's your weak side. So the, the rest of your side is supposed to be good, right? So if that's your weak side, to spend more there. As soon as they get better, distribute your brushes equally. If it's half an hour, split it, you know what I'm saying? If it's 40 minutes, it's split to 40 minutes. However you want to do it, but split it. 
okay so another tip is how you get your young the better weak side by wolfing you gotta wolf you gotta cut you gotta wolf you gotta cut you you gotta check the length that works for you okay don't use my theory you gotta use your own your own you gotta give your own benefit of the doubt you gotta use your own theories okay you gotta judge your own hair everybody hair is different everybody hair grows different so you gotta find out the whole thing about your hair okay my hair it in this side it takes longer to grow okay i realized that with time and in top it grows fast and the size it grows slower so for me my hair grows faster front top and back so you gotta find out how on top of that make sure you talk to your barber let the man know like work with him when you sit down in that chair don't, don't just go to sleep you know what I'm saying just let the man know like yo listen cut my hair my wolf in cut it with a tool if if this side grow faster cut it whatever guard you want to if this side takes longer cut it with a higher guard the reason why you want to have hair you want to have a curling if you got a curling that means you got enough hair to get wavy you know what i'm saying to make your hair wavy so if you don't got a lot of hair it's going to take longer that's why you got to go to the shot let your, let your barber know but be, before all that you got to study your hair you got to know which one is your weak side when it when it comes to your hair growing which one takes longer which one takes less like me I already know that my size takes longer to grow okay you're gonna watch this video now okay today is thursday you're gonna watch this video for a month for a month now and you're still gonna see a little shadow there it takes longer for me to grow but the top and the back they go faster that's another thing you gotta stay um on top of it so after you cut everything down you know what i'm saying your desired guard you just gotta go in okay if you if you only brush for half an hour brush an hour if you came out the uh the barber if you don't got plans i'm saying if you don't got plans you're just going straight home you know what i'm saying brush out your hour another tip for my beginners do not i repeat do not wash your hair after you come out this the shop do not don't no 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 don't wash your hair when you come out the shop wait one week one single week and then you can do the process of washing styles the reason why because you want to end up you want to be able to brush all the hair that you got dandruff whatever you got in your hair on top of that you're gonna you gotta go in because that's the new pattern that you brush it remember when you cut your hair that was the old pattern that pattern is gone so the new hair underneath that's the new pattern that's the one that you gotta brush so when you cut it again the new pattern that coming from the bottom is gonna be better that's the reason you gotta brush wolf cut brush wolf cut you know what I'm saying? Between that washing style. But you gotta wait at least one week. If you cut your hair on a Friday, washing style the next Friday. If you cut your hair weekly, wait at least three days, four days before you um you washing style. Because you wanna be able to brush the new pattern that you got, set it down. You know what I'm saying? After everything is laid down the way you want it, after three or four days, or a day before you wash, before you go to the shop. Go wash your style. You know what I'm saying? So your hair is going to be clean. And then, you know what I'm saying? You're going to cut your hair and then repeat the same process. This is for my beginners. Pay attention to what I'm saying. Do not wash your hair after you come out the shop. I know you're probably be like, oh, let me take a shower, get this hair off. No, don't do that. Waivers, don't do that. What we do is we go in with the brush. We do a section. Get the hair out. You know what I'm saying? All that dandruff. You can apply a little pomade if you want. A little um, oil you after that but do not bro do not scramble do not do washing style please do that follow my tip if you do that you're gonna get better progress because you training the new layer that is coming up to you know what I'm saying the way that you want it to lay down the way you want it that's what you put training your hair you know what I'm saying and you train the you go in every day and before you go to the shop do washing style and then repeat the same process okay 
I repeat it like five times, pay attention. So on your weak side, this for me, this is my weak side, and right here in the top. This side is getting better. So right now I'm just working on my crown, as you can see. I got a 540 with a slant. So this is how I brush my crown. If you got a beehive, you do the opposite. If you got a swirl like mine, this is how you do it. If you got a 720, it's different. If you got a 360 beehive, different. If you got a swirl like mine, a little bit different. If you got a 540 like mine, this is how you do it. Fall under your crown, all the way forward, but with a slam. That's how I brush my 540. Another tip is make sure after you come out the shop, don't don't apply anything. Don't apply oil. Don't apply nothing. First, do a brush section. After that, you can apply a little bit of oil, or you don't have to apply oil because the the shaft, they always spray that oil there in your hair. Don't let them put mousse on, on your hair. Mousse get your hair dry, you get dandruff quick. Don't not let the barber come with that mousse or that gel shit. Tell them, I don't want a gel. I don't want mousse, I don't want nothing, I got my own things. Just give me the alcohol and that's it. You know what I'm saying? You gotta take care of your hair. And your hair's gonna be healthy. You're gonna be good. Just apply oil, a little bit of oil. Try to stay away from the palm. And as soon as your waves up and the rating develop, and you're already past the the what you call that the, the beginning stage, like the ripples, and your pat is like mine, like you can see your waves already. Let that pomade go. The only two ways that you can use pomade is on your ripple stage just a tiny bit and your crown you know what i'm saying to be honest i don't use i don't use pomades i don't even for my crown i rather brush than use pomades i use oils and that's it you know what i'm saying but if it don't work out for you and you slacking on brushing you could use a little bit of pomade remember pomade just hold your hair down pomade don't get your waves okay let me put that out there okay pomades do not get your waves pomade just Lay your hair down. It's a thick wrist that you put on top of your hair and then keep it down. But this is the main key. At the end of the day, this is how you need to get waves, okay? So, just know that. Don't worry about palm. You know, I got the best palm. You know, I got organic palm. I got this. I got that. Okay? I don't want to crush your dreams, but it's reality. Palm is when I get your waves. They work with it. They maintain your waves down, but the main key about having your waves is brushing them. You brush your waves, you're not going to need that because look right now what I'm doing. I'm brushing right now. I'm not using oils. I don't got anything in my hand right now. And I came out the shot on... I came out the shot on Friday. Last Friday. And today's Thursday and tomorrow's Friday. So I'm gonna be one week and I haven't used anything. Okay, the only thing that I watched, that, that I did was I put oil when I did a washing style. That's all I did. I put oil on my washing style and after that I haven't done anything to my hair. And it's not even that dry. And I'm working. And look at my hair. On top of that, I'm working. I got my do rack eight hours every day since last Friday. And look at my hair how it looks. So it's no excuses, but once again, people's different. Me, I take it care of myself. I'm drinking a lot of water. I stopped the soda. That's another thing. You got you gotta take care of yourself too. You know what I'm saying? I'm I'm eating gummy bears, bite on gummy bears, which is good for your hair, for your skin. You know what I'm saying? So I'm treating myself, I'm taking care of myself. So if you don't drink a lot of water. I suggest you try to do that because water is good for your system and it helps a lot 
when it comes to your skin and your hair and your body. So, if you're a person that drinks a lot of juices and a lot of milk and a lot of sodas, you're gonna have a lot of struggles, to be honest. So, this is how I fix my weak side. I go around, I don't stay stuck in one spot. I make mean, sure so I, uh, I let the hair know that I'm here, you know what I'm saying? I brush my whole pattern, as you can see. I just, I, I don't stay one side. And I'm gonna let you know one thing too. I know a lot of barbers, um, a lot of waivers don't tell you this, but I'm gonna be honest with you guys. It's one thing you guys gotta know, your pattern shift, okay? Your pattern can shift. And how? I'll break it down. You see how my waist is crooked right here? My waist is crooked right here. They're not straight, right? It's supposed to be all the way down straight. they not. Because I stopped brushing, right? But as soon as I fix it, my whole pattern can shift. So these waves right here, they could shift. You know what I'm saying? And, and get messed up. Either the good way or the bad way. So the trick about this is to brush everything equally. Don't stay stuck with your weak spot. Even though everything is good on the rest of the side, make sure you brush everything equally. I know this is my weak side, I gotta focus here more. But as soon as I finish my, my section here, I continue brushing my good side. Why? That way your hair is gonna shift everything together at the same time, because you're showing the same time to each or eight angles. That way when, when it shift, it's not gonna be as bad you know what I'm saying, like a back fork. It could be like a tiny bit just crooked or not as bad. But if you focus just here and you don't focus on this side and you just brush in everything here because this is a weak side, when you break that weak side then you get a better strong, something strong side, it's gonna affect the seven angles around your head. So you probably gonna create another fork in the other side. The reason why, because you're not showing the same effort. So what I'm saying is, when you brush, don't, don't brush in here, keep brushing normally, because you're shifting everything at the same time, okay? It's for my beginners, you see? So I'm brushing here, right? Boom. All right here. Well, right here, I'm gonna look to the next step, okay? Which is, I'm gonna run out. You gotta find how you brush your own pattern, okay? Going for underneath the crown, slant it to the front. So I'm brushing two angles at the same time. The metal and the corner. Then I go outside a little bit, you know, finesse it a little bit. Then I switch. Right here. You see, I'm not overlapping. I stop here, right? Stop here. But look where I put my brush. So, what I do, I keep flowing. Keep flowing with my crown. I go straight to my crown. I don't stop the flow. Boom. You gotta find your own ways, you know what I'm saying? And I use the tip of the brush again, and I go back to my 40 angle. I finish with my crown. Then I finesse it again. And that's what I do. Repeat the same cycle, repeat the same cycle. And then you brush the bottom. You know what I'm saying? Go to the bottom. 
Bar and bar and show love to your bottom. You know what I'm saying? Your bottom of your waves. Don't just brush the metal or the top and the crown. That's the bottom too. You see, it looks decent. That's how it looks. Alright, so hope you guys learned something out of this. Alright, don't continue brushing. So I, gotta, I gotta fix a little bit, but already know, man. Beautiful, my beginners, man. Hope you like it. I'll see you guys in the next one, man. It's your boy, your baby six. Not the boss, man. I'm going to continue brushing. See you guys later.